and welcome back to another episode of GL Rustic Design. Today we're going to be building a simple farmhouse barn door. Uh, I know a lot of y'all see these pop up all the time, so I figured I'd just do a quick, short, 10 minute video. So, here uh, we cut a uh, a piece of 1x10. Uh, it was act the door actually ended up being 27. 27 and a half inches wide, but here, so we're going to glue up uh, the two, the, should be, it ends up being three pieces in the end, uh, so we're going to glue those up down the side, uh, and then um, clamp those together, let those dry overnight, um, and then come back and do the top part, uh, the whole, trimming it out, designing it, um, so like I said, so we're, Actually, uh, I only glued the two pieces here and I came back um, and glued the third one, but I just, I used uh, Top Bond uh, wood glue, uh, ran it down the the, <clears throat> the joint, and then just used my finger and e evenly spread it across. Uh, this door ended up being 79 inches long. Uh, you know, you can measure it to however wide and, and um, tall you needed it. So here I'm just uh, adjusting the clamps so that uh, there is, is equal equal pressure across the door um, and then I'll come back and I'll set a bucket of screws on top of the door <clears throat> so that it so that it holds it flush <clears throat> and I found uh, these these are cabinet clamps that um, I had ordered on Amazon um, I will uh, drop a link below to those so that uh, if you know if, if you're curious of where to get those. Uh, you, you could probably get away with just using the regular clamps from Lowe's. Um, and then so going into the next segment, uh, I had let I had let the glue dry. Um, I had put attached the other piece on the back. And then so here I cut uh, some one by fours uh, for the side. Those are 79 inches long. And then I came back and I'm doing, I cut three uh, one by fours at roughly 27 inches. Uh, and then I put pocket holes uh, in all the sides and I went ahead and just pre-done that so you don't have to watch me do it. Uh, so I put two pocket holes um, in each side uh, and then uh, attached all three of these uh, small trim pieces. Uh, I went ahead and found the middle um, so that I knew exactly where it was at. Uh, I put a mark um, in the middle of the the vertical one, the vertical one by four and then the piece that I'm screwing into it. Uh, and then I get my square, uh, where, wherever it's at in the shop, um, I find it, I uh, get my square, make sure everything is nice and even. Um, I also, I'll mark the other side just, you know, just in case, but you can never be too square. Uh, so here, I'm um, just trying to find that mark, put a little pressure on it, uh, attach the Craig jig screws. Uh, I used an inch and a half pocket hole screws uh, for this whole build until we get to the back. Um, like I said, I'd, I'd cut three of these pieces, one by fours at 27 inches long, uh, and I attached those. And so this door will have a X at the bottom, and then the top will be open, and then it just has, uh, it ultimately end up having one handle on the front, a black handle on the front and then a black black handle on the back which is not pictured in the end but I do have pictures in the end to uh, show you what the door came out to look like uh, and then another example of the same door so here um, I took another piece of one by four and I lined it up uh, so I get my X and then I just take a put a simple mark so I go over to the saw and cut it on my miter saw and then I come back um, I get my pocket hole jig back out and I clamp the one by four uh, down in the in the the uh, Craig jig pocket hole machine. <clears throat> I drill me two holes uh, for each side so that I know that the X is not going anywhere; it's not moving. Um, and so when I come back to cut the next, the other side of the X, that I know that it's going it will be accurate. So here all I'm doing is, um, I'm also working on, this is the back side of the trim. Uh, I'll eventually flip it over when I attach it. But here, like I said, I, drew, I, I drilled two pocket holes um, in 
<clears throat> each corner uh, so that I can attach that to those 26 inch pieces of trim then I come back um, and I'm ready to do the other side so uh, same concept as before um, I put a I put a simple mark I put four marks um, one at the bottom one at the where the X meets uh, and the one at the top and I kind of scribbled just a little bit of a line um, on the top uh, just so I, I that tells me that that's the top uh, I go over to the miter saw and I cut it to where I need it on the lines and then I make sure everything fits nice and nice and smooth uh, and then I come back and I use the same pocket hole machine with one and a half inch pocket holes uh, I put uh, two pocket holes in the bottom two pocket holes in the top uh, same thing with the top piece of the X um, just so I know I said everything's um, nice and together and then uh, I take um, eight screws, eight inch and a half, inch and a half pocket hole screws, and I attach those two uh, small trim pieces. And it's also very cold in Alabama this week. It was, one week it was 70, 72, and then this week it just so happened to be down in the 30s. So I was absolutely freezing. Uh, you can see you can see some of my other projects uh, in, in the background as I finish up. Uh, I, I was wanting to do that pantry, that white pantry as a video, um, but I got about halfway done with it and I realized I was going to do a video. Um, I'm trying to get better at doing these videos, um, but also you can see the two kitchen islands in the back. Um, but anyway, so I um, attached both of those trim, those small pieces of the X. Then I flip that whole piece over. You can see all the pocket holes in the back. Um, I flip that whole piece over and I make sure everything's nice and swept off of of where I need the that that piece to go. Uh, and I'm, I, I line everything up nice and flush. Uh, I start with the one corner. I grab me a uh, small clamp. Uh, I cl I clamp down the uh, the face to the back of the door. And then I'll take, um, and, and I believe it's an inch and a quarter uh, torque, head, torque head screw. Uh, I think it's a, a T25 is the head that fixes it. Um, and then I'll come from the back up, um, and I will put six screws, um, which I, I use my little kangaroo pocket as a as, as a holder. Um, and then I'll take my, my six screws, and I'll drill those through the back. Um, through the, the to hold the front piece on um, and like I said so it's pretty pretty simple I uh, drew me six holes um, after after this I come back and I just lightly sand it uh, all these trim pieces are already smooth um, and it's not going to start a kitchen table so I'm not really worried about you know it being super smooth I just make sure all the splinters are out make sure there's no lettering uh so when i stain it the lettering that you don't see the words popping through um and once again uh if you're if you're new to my channel um you know i, I post videos uh try to get at least two a month out um i'm trying to like i said trying to get better at this uh so if you if you have any suggestions uh drop a comment below Please like and subscribe to my channel uh, so I can get my subs up. Um, if you want to do a sub for a sub, you know I'll, I'll sub back um, if you if you sub to my channel. Um, but I, also you can go to my Facebook page. Uh, it's GL Rustic Design. You can also like my Instagram. Uh, you can search GL GL Rustic Design. Um, I post I post a good bit of my work. I don't I don't post everything. Um, but I post, um, you know, a good bit on there. And then you'll see the next few pictures that are about to pop up. Uh, the gray, the, the the two gray pictures, or the actual door, this door. Um, <clears throat> one is it being hung? <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> and then the other one um, is after I had just stained it, so the stain was still wet. Um, I'm unfortunately I didn't I didn't get a video of the me installing the handle. Uh, the video came out to be too dark. As you can see, uh, you know, the door is nice and hung. Uh, the next picture is the door after it was stained, and then the final picture is just another example. But, you know, I, I greatly, greatly appreciate uh, anyone who watched. Thank you.